Steph Curry, Taylor Robinson, Caitlin Clark, some of the greatest shooters of today's time, but they weren't always great shooters. It took a lot of time, practice, and repetition. With all of the greatest shooters, at one point in their life, they had to learn how to shoot a basketball. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys today. Today we're going to go over the history of basketball, how to shoot a basketball, and what you need to do it, and finally, the benefits it can provide to everybody. Let's take a drive back into time to Springfield College in 1891, where James Naismith was a graduate student at the time. He created basketball as a minimal contact sport after football season, but we know this is no longer true. The game was first played at a YMCA on campus, and it had started with two half bushel peach baskets nailed to a balcony that happened to be 10 feet tall. With this, someone had to stand on the balcony to grab the ball out of the, out of the hoop every time someone scored. Eventually, they cut holes in the bottom, so you no longer had to do this. The game originally had 13 rules, and one of them being you could not dribble, as they used to play with soccer balls. The word of the game spread quickly throughout the world, even though it started on a small college campus. It went throughout other campuses, YMCAs, to foreign countries, and eventually in 1905, it was officially named an official winter sport in college and high school athletics. It has continued to spread, and according to statisticsanddata.org, it is now currently the second most played and watched sport in the world. Over the development of the game, the way you should shoot a basketball has, has uh, become more advanced. Now, before I assist you with how to shoot a basketball correctly, let's go over what you're going to need today. You're going to need, a, most importantly, a basketball in your two hands, and then you're going to need a hoop, which you can find at a local gym or park, but I do not have one today. To start, you're going to want to make sure to focus on your athletic stance with your knees and hips bent and your feet uh, shoulder width apart. When shooting a basketball, you want to make sure that you're square to the hoop or you have your dominant side foot just slightly in front of the other. Now that you know how to stand, let's talk about hand placement. When you catch the ball, you want to make sure that your dominant hand is behind the ball and that your guide hand is on the side of the ball. With this, you want to focus that there's one or there's a small little gap between your palm and the ball. Now, when you bring the ball to this position, that's right before you actually take your shot. It's called the shooting pocket. Here you want to focus to make sure that your elbow is bent, it's in line with your shoulder, and that you keep it close to your body like this. Now that you know the correct stance and how to hold the ball, you're almost ready to take your first shot. You want to make sure to keep your, your hand placement and footwork the same. When you go to actually take your shot, extend your knees, and, your knees and hips into the air to get off the ground. While doing this, you want to make sure that you keep the ball close to your body. When you're ready to shoot, actually shoot the ball, when you jump into the air, make sure that you release the ball at your highest point. Here you need to make sure that you flick your shooting hand towards the hoop in order to create a backspin on the ball. Now, a few things you need to focus on at this point is, one, making sure that you create that backspin on the ball. Two, you want to make sure that you keep your guide hand on the side of the ball so it does not interfere with your shot. And finally, you want to make sure that you keep it close to your body and that you shoot in one smooth motion. Now, as you come back down to the ground, you want to make sure that you hold your follow through and see the ball swish through. Behind me, you can see the process of Steph Curry's shot, which is he is currently one of the best shooters in the NBA. Now that you guys will be all swishing threes, let's talk about why this is important to not only me and other basketball players, but society as well. Basketball is not only entertaining, it allows people to become active and promotes teamwork and communication. Because basketball is already a fast-paced game, being able to effectively shoot the ball is going to allow any game to become more entertaining. Behind me, you can see a picture of Caitlin Clark after hitting the buzzer beater against Indiana this season, and you can see that the crowd was definitely entertained. According to Top End Sports, over 400 million people watch basketball just because it is entertaining, and over 450 people play just because they find it fun. Being able to participate in any kind of basketball game, um, whether it's just shooting by yourself or playing in a competitive game, you're going to get some sort of physical activity. With this, be being able to shoot a basketball can be a way for someone to start become active. 
There are many benefits to basketball, and one of them is playing on a team allows you to learn good communication and teamwork skills. As a teenager or, at, or as a kid, it is, it is important to learn these skills as they are skills that are used in the real world outside of sports. As we look back for the, on the stats tonight, let's recap. We talked about the history, how to shoot a basketball, and finally the benefits that it can provide. With every shot you take, uh, you will become better. It takes practice and repetition. After listening today, are you ready to be the next Steph Curry, Taylor Robertson, or Caitlin Clark?